Today, I'm going to be discussing the saga of John Mayer's blacked out Quan Centaur, all of the information that we've known about this pedal, a little bit of the timeline, as well as the flat out confirmation as to what this pedal actually is, thanks to the Guitar Magazine Japan, which I've been covering some different features, board shots on the channel already. And there's some new details about the actual blacked out Quan Centaur that is discussed in this magazine, which I've translated from the Japanese to English for you guys. So let's dive into the story of John Mayer's blacked out Quan Centaur. All right, so we have to go back to the 2019 World Tour when this whole blacking out pedals thing kind of started with John's rig. This is just one of the shots of John's board you're looking at on your screen right now. And you can actually see on it that there are different pedals that just have jet black enclosures, words underneath the knobs, but that's it, no brand names on it, no colors, no nothing. Really nothing to really recognize what these pedals are. And this was quite a surprise to see during the start of the 2019 World Tour. We've never seen any just all black pedals on John's rig before. Some were just regular, some weren't. And during the start of the 2019 World Tour, the Quan Centaur was acting in its original silver enclosure. Just a typical Quan Centaur. Everyone knew John used a Quan Centaur. He's talked about that pedal before. So there wasn't anything surprising about what we had seen. And John would later come out and actually say the reason why he blacks out pedals is because he's tired and doesn't want the price of things going up just because he wants to try something out. And we've seen him use a pedal once before, like the Chase Bliss Condor. He used that for one show and then didn't use it again. So if he wants to try something out even once, he doesn't want people to then go, oh, well, John's using this pedal. I'm going to try and use his name to make more money or flip gear. He doesn't want any of that happening. So that's why he started blacking out pedals, especially the rarer ones, some of the more hard to find ones, the kind of unobtainium ones that were already, you know, commanding a premium, but then would get the John Mayer premium on top of them as well. But the Claude Centaur originally was in its all silver enclosure, like usual, for the first leg of the 2019 World Tour. But then when we moved to the second leg of the 2019 World Tour, the North American leg, all of a sudden the Claude Centaur was in all black and that was a big surprise change. Now, when people saw a black Klon Centaur style enclosure with the Oxblood knobs on it, people immediately went and thought John was using a Chariotone Centura on his pedal board for whatever reason. That's now what he was using, a clone of the pedal instead of a Klon Centaur. But this didn't make a lot of sense because it's John Mayer after all. He can easily afford to buy another Klon Centaur if one of his was giving him trouble, for example. And he was already blacking out pedals. But then there was kind of the whole thing about, well, everyone knows John's using a Klon Centaur. Why now would he black out the pedal and possibly try and hide that he's using it? It makes no sense. That'd be like him blacking out an Ivan STS-10. Everyone knows he uses it. He's so well known for using it. He's discussed the pedals before. To all of a sudden black it out makes not a lot of sense. So a lot of people were just dead set on it being a Chariotone Centura. So much that Josh Scott actually went on his JHS pedal show to discuss this. Mayor's black Klon. Josh Scott. It, I will respect his privacy. I get asked this all the time. It is not this. It's not a Centura, like the replica company. This is a replica that doesn't try to. This is it's a very clone. clearly. This a is clone. not a counter. Like it says, you know, Syria tone amps. It's not this. That's all I'll say. Good enough. And just remember, he's John Mayer. He can have the real thing. Now, even with Josh Scott, who's someone in John's inner circle, he's built pedals for him, worked on his boards and stuff like that, I'm sure. Even with him clarifying that it wasn't a Cherry Tone Centura, a lot of people didn't believe him. And I thought that was kind of weird. And I made a video on this very subject because I didn't want people going out and buying a Cherry Tone Centura because that's what they thought John was using. If you just like the pedal and like how it sounds, okay, that's great. But if you're buying it because that's what you think John is using, you're spending your money not in the best way. And I didn't want you guys, John Mayer fans, going out and doing that. So I made a video discussing it as well. And then Josh Scott even saw it and was like, this video is well done, which was pretty cool to see Josh watching the channel. And hey, he's also subscribed to my YouTube channel. So if you aren't already, I think you should be like Josh and subscribe. Now, from the start of the North American leg of the 2019 World Tour, that all black Klon Centaur looking pedal would stay essentially on John's pedal board the entire time. And then when we get into the Saw Brock era and John was doing some television promotional performances for Saw Brock, performing like Last Train Home, Wild Blue, John actually was using a clone of the Klon Centaur, the Jeff modded Archer from J Rocket. He had that pedal on what you could consider his B rig, a smaller pedal board that just had the essentials on it instead of the massive World Tour size pedal board. And 
and performances like Everybody Wants to Rule the World with Alexander 23 as well, was using this rig with that Jeff modded Archer on it, but for the Sawbrock pedalboard, the main rig, that blacked out Kron Center was on it again, of course, with a few other all blacked out pedals as well. Now, one thing that is really cool is for the Troubadour show with David Ryan Harris, you actually see this photo of John's really small pedal board with that blacked out Kwan Centaur on it. And this shot is from my buddy Gabe, who's at that show, amazing show, and got these photos for us. This was the very first time we could actually get a close up look at John's Kwan. And you could tell that it wasn't just a black enclosure. It was painted or something was done to it to cover up what it actually was, and then there was just some scribbled white writing for the actual labels for the knobs and everything. So this was really cool to finally see this, and it kind of alluded a little bit more as to what's going on with this Klon Centaur. Fast forward then to the solo tour, and of course this Klon Centaur was on the pedal board as well. And now, thanks to the Blue Note Tokyo performances and Guitar Magazine Japan, we actually have some insight as to what is going on with this Klon Centaur. Now in this magazine, Jeremy John's Guitar Tech mentions and I'm translating it and kind of filling in the blanks a little bit here for you guys, is that the Klon Centaur was painted black because John was getting distracted and annoyed by the stage lights reflecting off of the silver chrome enclosure. And that's rough translation with some of the gaps filled in, but this makes sense as back then, of course, John had just started blacking out pedals to kind of hide a little bit of what he was using, and the first leg of the tour, he didn't black out the Klon Centaur. But it makes sense that in between legs of the tour, John maybe had mentioned, hey, you know what? That silver chrome enclosure of the Klon Centaur, the way the lights are for this tour, it's really reflecting and just, it's very distracting and it makes it a little bit difficult to actually just pay attention and focus on performing. So what did they do? Well, we've been blacking out other pedals, so let's just black out the Klon as well. And that's right from Jeremy John's guitar tech. And it's what we knew was going on originally. Josh Scott had mentioned, it's John Mayer, he can have the real thing, so why would he have anything different? But now that we know the real reason as to why John blacked out the Klon Centaur, I kind of wanted to take everything and highlight it for you guys and really just put a cap on this whole saga in one video because this is one of those things where I've been asked so many times in Q&As I've done, in my Instagram DMs, in comments, what's going on with John's Klon Centaur? Is it a Cherry Tone Centaur? Are people being absolutely convinced that it was a Cherry Tone Centaur? And like I said earlier on in the video, I don't want you guys going out and spending your money with the wrong information. That's one thing I really take pride in with this channel is trying to guide you guys to making good purchasing decisions and just being informed and educated as to what's going on. So I thought, hey, let's make a video and discuss the entire thing. And the saga of this blacked out Klon Centaur, which I'm sure we're gonna see lots of in the future before because that chrome enclosure does really reflect light quite a lot. I have one and even just in the lights in my kind of studio slash basement here, it reflects lights a lot and it, Kind of can be a little distracting or a wrong angle kind of hits you in the eyes and you're like oh okay that's not really that pleasant so someone like john who's performing with stage lights like crazy i can't imagine how annoying that must have gotten so there you guys have it it's a clon centaur it's that silver enclosure one that we've known john to be using they've just gone and painted it or used plastidip or something and just covered it up so that it doesn't reflect the light for john anymore but I thought this would be a fun video, and thanks to the Guitar Magazine Japan March issue for 2024 for actually getting these shots of John's pedal board for the solo tour and asking Jeremy, why is it like this? And kind of highlighting the real reason as to why John's blacked out his Klon Center. So there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm going to be covering all of the guitars John was using for the solo tour. I'm going to be covering the JHS box it later, as well as the amps as well. So stay tuned for all those videos coming out from this magazine. It's really, really incredible. And I'm excited to share all the translation for you guys and all the images that I've scanned as well. So take care and I'll see you on the next one.